what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i am very excited to show you guys what's sitting here in front of me I told you guys uh, i told you guys i had a surprise for you excuse me and it's sitting here in front of me right now and i know you guys are going to want the backstory to everything but that'll be for the next video coming up but i just want to show you guys what is back on the channel now and i'm very excited um she's a little ugly right now so don't don't start judging in the comments just yet i'll explain everything in that next video of what happened to it uh but it's back it's back the corvette is back it's back and again uh she's a little ugly right now a bunch of scratches a lot of things to fix got the old nasty rims on there really dirty and dusty all around Gonna change those up hopefully here within the next couple days to the blue burnt tips like we got on the Silverado over here. But all the squirrels and scratches. But guys, I'm excited. She's back and maybe a new nickname. Uh, the guy I bought the car from originally and who helped me put it back together. His name's Greg, I work with him. But his nickname and his friend's nickname for this car is the Monster. So I don't know if I want to go with that or not for the channel. You guys let me know if we want to nickname this car the Monster. Uh, but again, the car is back. It will stay on the channel for a while uh, until I decide to depart with it. Um, and again, you guys will get the full scoop and the full story in the next video of what actually happened to the car and how it's back. But I just wanted to show you guys the surprise. The Corvette is back on the channel. I got to do a lot, of, a lot more work to the car. Um, everything that was actually done to the car to get it back and put it back together which you guys will understand in the next video has all been done and it's a little off color as you might be able to tell I don't know if you'll be able to tell new versus old paint versus where this rear fender quarter panel came from the new door um, fender up front but this is all the new side new as in came off of another Corvette like this Corvette was and this is fresh and new as well you know I already got one ding rock chip in it and one up here too on the headlight but this whole front bumper is brand spanking new it was just painted and I got to touch up those two rock chips right there um, got to get some grill inserts for the front again even though this is a base C5 uh, front bumper because you guys see the um fog light insert right there and z06s don't come with that they just come with the screen in the front but we can go ahead and still put the screens in the front here i'm not going to do fog lights in this uh corvette like the way it looks just how it is z06 style um again new rims will be coming at some point um i've tried cleaning these up and this is as clean as they're gonna get i might have a detail specialist or professional try to see what they can do about these rims and if they're still come back looking like this we're absolutely definitely going to go with some new rims for this car even though these are the original commemorative edition rims but we're going to go with uh, a different set of rims probably and the last the absolute last thing i'm going to do to this is put the commemorative edition stripes i bought it before what happened to the car before the everything that happened to the car i bought it before or i bought the stripes before whatever it was that happened to the car and never put them on and finally so this is the time to while i'm already working on everything with this car it's finally time to get it to a hundred percent and get it to its final stages and get this thing looking good again uh, as before what happened to it so that'll be the last thing adding the commemorative edition stripes I already have the kit ready just gonna have to find somebody to do them for me I'm not comfortable myself doing it never done stripes before on a Corvette at least um, so I'm gonna have the pros do it and have them do a nice job on it and that's just what I'm comfortable with and what I'm willing to pay for um, got to take it to block a chip you guys know we protect our vehicles on this channel to protect this bumper 
um, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna have them do to it I may do the hood as well um, but and maybe the the rear end here um, other than that guys I just wanted to show you guys again uh, that the Corvette is back got a lot more plans for this thing to put it back together um, because as you will see in here in the next video tragic 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 story um, but it's back it was put back together um, retrieved paid for again and now it's back so it's time to put this thing back together um, so got all my parts that I took off the vehicle when the issue happened um, so we're gonna put all this stuff back on but again everything else has to be buttoned up um, I just got the car back actually from Firestone they did some work for me underneath the hood we got a new serpentine belt new AC belt new uh, tensioners and pulleys all in here you know you probably guys you're probably not gonna be able to see all that down there but they are on you can see this one right here is brand spanking new very shiny nice and black um, so that is all new with that I'm gonna get a new air filter um, oil change was done as well by Firestone uh, coolant flush um, and oh they also put some new shocks on the front as well and changed the brakes out and rotors and that was it so a little hefty price there uh, going with Firestone but it is what it is I wanted the car to be safe it did go through inspection uh, before it went to them as well so that I could get the car back originally in the first place uh, and get a title for it and um, get a 30-day tag and speaking of that that's gonna expire here soon so I gotta go get new plates as well I'm probably gonna go with the cam z06 plates again because I looked up the other day nobody has these plates uh, when the car was gone nobody um, requested to have those plates put on their own car so I checked the availability of the cam Z06 license plate and it still is available so within the next couple days here I'll be doing that as well but I first have to go get an e-check got to get an e-check on the, the, the Corvette first then go to the DMV and see if the uh, cam Z06 plates are still available and then if if they are, I will purchase those and go with those. Uh, if you guys see this video before I do that, if you want to see a different license plate or give me some suggestions, I will take suggestions on the license plate because I might need them if the Cam Z06 is unavailable and someone got those plates. So leave your suggestions if you guys see that video or see this video, excuse me, before I get those plates. And I think I'll leave you guys with that. Again, I'm very excited, happy that the Corvette is back. We have a lot of work to do to get this thing back to its original state of how it was before the issue happened. Got to get new rims and tires, uh, clean out the all the interior, fix all the paintwork again, and put all this stuff that I took off of it before the issue ha or after the issue happened so that I could save some of those parts. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. A lot more new content coming with the Corvette. Peace. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.